1964, January, a bill was introduced in the Kentucky House of Representatives prohibiting uh, discrimination in public accommodations. And we in Kentucky were all very excited and still uh, excited about the March on Washington and, it, and it's the effect it had on all of us in Kentucky. So a young man by the name of Frank Stanley Jr., who was uh, editor of the Louisville Defender, the Black Weekly newspaper here, came up with the idea of uh, meeting with the governor to see what his position was on civil rights. So he and several ministers met, and when they left the governor's office, they were dissatisfied. Frank Stanley came up with the idea of organizing March on Frankfurt. It was suggested that Dr. Martin Luther King be our speaker, and also Jackie Robinson. The day went on, and it was a massive crowd. Jackie Robinson spoke first, Peter Paul and Mary sang, and then Dr. King spoke. So one of the reporters said to me, the governor's in his office, he says, but he won't come out. I said, he won't? He said, no. I said, well, then we'll go in and see him. So I took uh, Dr. King, Jackie Robinson, and several other ministers, and Frank Stanley, and I knocked on his door. I made all the introductions, and the governor was sitting behind his desk, and he was smiling. And uh, so Dr. King asked him, uh, Governor, uh, what do you think you can do to help us to get this bill out of the committee and passed? So he kind of, him and Hall, he says, well, I just got here, and uh, my rapport with the legislators uh, has not become that great, but I'm working on it. So, okay. So we talked a while, and then we left, unsatisfied, of course. The bill was defeated in 1964. But we had courage. We didn't give up. We had started establishing uh, supporters all over the state through the commission and through the NAACP, all the black churches. So we had two years to reorganize with support. All the uh, legislators who, who voted against the bill in 64, we particularly sent people to that legislator in their district saying, we're not going to vote for you anymore unless you vote for this. Never thought of running for public office. But in 1966, I had managed to get a little job in the House of Representatives in the bill room. And one day I was talking to this uh, member and I was asking him to vote for it. And he says, well, if I voted for that bill, I'd never get reelected. I said, well, maybe you shouldn't. Just like that, and maybe you shouldn't. So he, he, he blew smoke in my face. I said, you know what, Representative? I said, what I need is my own seat here. I said, because if I get a seat here, I'm going to really vote for the people. 